There are few places on the planet more synonymous with racing than Italy, home of motorsports legacy brand, Ferrari. The biggest team, the most famous team, a team that if you ask anyone who's not a racing fan, name me a race team, let's say Ferrari. Driving that prancing horse on your car is special. Ferrari owns 16 constructors titles, but haven't won a championship since 2008. While that 15 year stretch has felt like an eternity for the Tifosi, it pales in comparison to the drought since Italy's last driver's title. For that, you have to go back more than 70 years to Alberto Ascari in 1953. Now, as Formula One returns to Monza, the spotlight intensifies, both on Italy's most iconic brand and potentially its next big star, 18-year-old Kimi Antonelli. Awesome stuff from Antonelli, who wins a feature race for the first time in Formula Two. Like Connor Bedard on the ice or Victor Wembanyama in the NBA, Kimi Antonelli is being dubbed Formula One's next big star. Antonelli, who is a member of Mercedes' Junior Academy, will make his F1 debut this weekend on home soil, behind the wheel for Friday's first free practice session. The stakes are high, especially considering the teenager is considered the number one candidate for F1's most coveted opportunity in a car capable of winning now the upcoming vacancy at Mercedes, a seat currently held by seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. He needed a new challenge that he was looking for a different environment and that it was maybe the last possibility to do something else. While Hamilton's departure has created an opportunity for the young Italian driver, Hamilton's impending arrival at Ferrari brings a new level of pressure. Since their last race in Italy, back in May, Ferrari has watched both McLaren and more troubling Mercedes be more competitive. Team principal Frederick Vasseur pulled off an incredible coup luring Hamilton to Ferrari. However, all that optimism would take a major hit if Mercedes finishes ahead of Ferrari at year's end, making the final nine races beginning this weekend in Monza, imperative to build confidence and avoid any second guessing. If we want to be consistently on top and consistently at our best level, we've got to understand what is the right things that we've done to this car today, because it's not only me, but Carlos and myself were very strong today. So there's clearly a car that we did right. Unfortunately, as a team, I don't think we have that explanation yet. The pressure is always on the home side when Formula One touches down in Italy, but this particular race feels different. A race where groundwork will be laid. A reputation begins being built and potentially our first glimpse of the next era of F1 title contenders.